I'm going to work through this problem in Excel. If you copy it to the clipboard, then you can paste in Excel. Paste the data. First thing I do is find the average. Uh, because we need the average, the x with the bar over it is a symbol for the average. And we're going to take each number and subtract the average. So here that's what I did. I took each individual number and subtracted 1456.5, the average. And then these bars mean absolute value. So just the, the raw value of the number without a sign. So the negatives all turn positive, the positives stay positive, just the, the absolute value of our numbers we got here when we subtracted. And then the formula says sum up every individual answer you got. That's what this symbol means. Just sum up all those answers. So I, I sum up the four answers I got. I get the sum. And then I get my final answer by doing the last bit of math here, dividing by n, which is how many data values we have. So I divide it by 4 at the end to get this value. And then for the sample standard deviation, you can just have Excel or StatCrunch spit that out for you. To work it out by hand, you again start off the same way, find the average of the values, subtract each value minus the average, but instead of doing the absolute value, the standard deviation had you square each of these values. So that's what I did down here. I squared the four values here. And then you add up all those values after you square them. And for the sample standard deviation, you divide by one less than there were. So instead of dividing by four, I divide here by three. And then you get your final answer. You take the square root of that whole value. So you take the square root of this and you get 589.415. But again, understand that process. What we're doing is we're seeing how far away each value is from the mean. We're trying to basically get a average value that all the data is away from the mean. That's what we're trying to do here with deviation. So understand the process behind this. We're trying to see how far the data is away from the mean, how spread out the data is. And when, when you understand that, you don't have to work everything out by hand. You can just use in Excel at standard deviation, S for sample. Select the data you want and it will do all the work behind the scenes for you. And, and the last part just was which of these is greater than or less than. The absolute deviation here is less than the sample.